This podcast is brought to you by HelloFresh. Want to know something that makes staying home that much easier? Baby, contact-free meal kit delivery from HelloFresh. Go to HelloFresh.com slash 10unfiltered and use code 10unfiltered. You're going to get 10 free meals plus free shipping. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Zane Heath and Filtered. Before we start the episode, um, we we have big news. Mm-hmm. Very, yes, we do. Very big news. Um, after a month and a half <laughs> since we launched, we weren't able to keep up with all the a, orders. But... A lot of freaking out and a lot of scrambling. <laughs> yeah. We are finally back on stock, baby. You can get literally any flavor you want, including the bags. Right now, we're, we are, baby, fully stocked. No more pre-orders, no more sellouts, nothing. If you want it, you get it, baby. Exactly. So, guys, go to Cremota.com if you want to buy yourself either um, one of these K-Cup flavors. We have the House Blend, Tahitian Vanilla, and Cinnamon French Toast. And we also have the bagged form of the House Blend mm-hmm. right now. Critics are raving, and by critics, <laughs> we mean all of you guys. <laughs> Everybody is loving their Cremota coffee, and that means so much to Zan and I. Something we've been working on for so long, and we're just really excited to see you guys drinking it with us. And guys, we're also restocked on the mugs, on the hats, and the merch because y'all bought all that shit. So, uh-huh. so um, yeah, again, thank you so much. We fucking appreciate you guys so much for just supporting us. And literally, if you're going to support us in anything, it would be this coffee. So that it means the world. Okay, okay. Let's get back to the episode. Jason! He was on the phone. He was like, maybe we get Corinna, maybe we get... And I was like, oh, good, good, good. <laughs> good, good, good. And then you asked, and I was like, okay, I'll do it. You're on here now. You won't be back on here for another maybe two weeks. So, <laughs> okay. Yeah, we might need you. No, it's just a lot of pressure. Jason, you're a good filler. They're long, too. They're long podcasts. It's like, they're hard. You're to, not used ha- to this. Hard to be interesting. You're used to David filming one episode 45 minutes over the course of seven days. Yeah. Well, they film They film a lot. He just cuts it down to, right? You, they, you just cut it down to 30 you, no, minutes. No, we'll, we'll get a, we get a couple shots at it, which is nice. We'll sit and do 10 minutes on Thursday. Another twenty minutes that's on Saturday. Crazy. I, it, do we, it, ten what minutes would, would that's us be start, <laughs> start starting a fucking conversation. Right. You exactly. couldn't do it because you got you have to wear the same clothes and shit. But no, no, dude, I actually now I really watch out for what I wear because they made fun of me for a yellow shirt I used to wear all the time. So now I just <laughs> overthink about it. Over now he that. has the yellow shirt underneath. He just throws a different hoodie. Over <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh my god, we had a, we had somebody in middle school that always did that. And I meant like continuity. Jay. Uh, Jason just told me something very interesting. Jason's here. <laughs> Oh, should we intro with our store? We're on. It's recorded. (laughs) I thought we'd surprise everybody with like a mystery guest. (laughs) David's assistant face mask. (laughs) You may know this guest. You know, you guys know who he is. We we have to do a little intro before our uh, our Zane Heath. Yeah, you get it. It's like a David's vlog intro. We're still figuring it out. Honestly, we're still figuring. it out. Just to be clear, no one said we're starting. That's right. Oh yeah, we kind of just go. We're going. Yeah, right. Oh, okay. We want it to be as natural as possible. We're doing live. No slouch. Be natural. I don't fucking know how to sit. Here? Jason, calm down. Oh, God. Cut all this out. No, you can keep it in. Keep it in. Oh, no. Mariah will keep it in. I'm glad. She cuts bad things about us her. out, but the guest, she leaves yeah. everything in. This was- she makes us look as good as possible. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's great to be here. Thank you, guys. Let me first say thank you for having me. Of course. And congratulations. This is a huge success. Thank you, Jason. And I was just watching uh, Scotty's episode thinking... These Man, two. do I not want to be that guy. <laughs> <laughs> no. Don't have me on. I was thinking Zane and Heath used to share a Vine channel. And now they have this big podcast. Shared and, podcast. <laughs> yeah. Well, no, it should be a shared podcast, but that's just, it's great. I mean, like, it's crazy. You guys yeah, used to is, just be, you wild. know, Viners. And- we went off a limb. We just won this shit. We, I, like, the fact that we even, like, put up lights and shit, that we went too far when we started the podcast. We're like, we should have just started with our phones and see where that went. But the set we looks really great. It. it looks great on yeah. camera, but now, now being here, it feels like um, it's like a, a Best Western in Detroit, in Detroit. <laughs> like the lobby Let's of a like Best Western us. in Detroit. Oh, that's funny. that's kind of what it feels Jeez, like. You should have never said that. Now we're gonna redo this. Now set. we're gonna take a no. two week break. No, it looks. We great. We spent a lot of money on this set, Jason. Everything looks. I mean, when you're it's just when you see it in person, it's it's great. I know it looks like a sauna, but he's like the plants are fake. They look really real. Zane's not real. It's a it's a stand in Zane. Wait, wait, wait for it. Um, All right, let's roll yeah, this let's baby. Roll the intro. Let's uh, it's okay. coffee time. It's co- it's sorry, on. sorry, I got excited. Ready? It's, it's coffee time, baby. Boom. Jason, you got to stand up and dance. Okay, yeah. Wow. Nice. Very Welcome nice. back to Zany Heath Unfiltered. I'm Zane. And I'm Heath. And I'm Jason Nash. <sighs> 
Hey, okay, what's up? I love your work. Thank you. Really <laughs> cool. Really How's really conceited piece of shit. And what's, <laughs> and what's your name? Uh, Mariah. What's your last name? Uh, 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 Mariah Marmot. Mar- I can't pronounce I, I, it. Oh I knew you didn't know her last name. Right. I, I right. had a feeling you didn't know her last Fuck. name. Fuck. It's embarrassing. She goes... <laughs> Marimoto. <laughs> Very good. Maria Hamoto. <laughs> it's almost like Japanese. I was just about to say that, Jason. I got that all the time growing but up. You're Italian. Are you Japanese? I was like, what? And they were like, Ama- like Amato. I was like, no, it's Italian. It's great when you come over here because um, you guys have, Mariah has out all the like little Italian fixings that my grandmother has. The, the yeah. little pasta. Yeah, yeah the really <laughs> nice pasta, the crushed right. tomatoes. Uh-huh. That you never cook. It, it just sits there. Yeah, Jar of olives it's just <laughs> sitting in like a decorative thing. Yeah. I, I feel like Mariah spends a lot of time making sure that these jars are like perfect before people come over to. Like yeah. she fill, she refills like the, the pasta jar. Oh no, baby. But somehow doesn't use it. She's just like constantly filling it up. Well, yeah. Even when I was here that that cheese plate you had that night was like immaculate. Don't yeah. even get her started. Every time like a friend, one this friend will come over. Now. You guys need a charcuterie board? We want salami. <laughs> no, a bit it's of cheese. Anti-past. She, yeah. This every time I, I eat it charcuterie board, I do this. Move everything. Like, I don't like anything on it. I just like <laughs> the olives. That's it. Like I need Nobody a co- asked. I need a cookie. Well, that's funny. Most board. people don't like olives. I made like you olives. one for your birthday. I know. I love I it. I made him a charcuterie board, but it was only desserts. And I never asked for it too. You just knew that's what I wanted. I, knew. I was like, and perfect. And I need my plate back. It's still at your house. Speaking oh, okay. of being Italian, Mariah, did you know they're redoing The Sopranos? No. With Gandalf. What? Yeah. With Gandolfini's son. What? Like, Crazy. How old is he now? His son. He looks like he's like, you know, 25 or so. Wow. I don't know. Is it like a complete remake or is it kind of like a new story? It's Tony oh, Soprano as a kid. <gasps> Interesting. Like a prequel. Oh, I hope oh, of it's course. good. When That's they try cool. to redo things and bring things back up, it doesn't go very well. Yeah. Right? yeah. So nice. Anything that's remade, oh, I hope it's good. That's, they need to bring back like mobster, like... Mob like shows, energy. mob energy shows again because I feel like it killed it back then. The tough thing about the mobster stuff is the mob hasn't existed in a long time. Oh, it exists. Not, I feel like not it, in the not, not in the that way extent. that Scorsese like yeah. portrays it and stuff. Like, now it's there's really... a social media mob. <laughs> 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 Canceled mob. <laughs> it's a little different. Yeah. They still got the power though. They kill you, but not physically. Just your career. <laughs> <laughs> Mentally, they, they break you down. <laughs> They do it the long way. They hurt you with the words yeah. instead of with lead pipes and. <laughs> what are they using? Lead pipes. Lead pipes. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm just from movies. People beat them with a lead pipe or a bat. A bat. How about a gun? Try a gun. You ever have a gun pulled on you? No. Have but you? I've... Yeah. Whoa! Really? Yeah. My aunt has. It's fucking scary. It's really scary. How old were you? Two. No, it's okay. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, I don't know. I was like 25. We just got what mugged. We got well, mugged yeah. on wow. Third Street. What's the story? Yeah. What we happened? just got mugged on Third Street. Out here? That was it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you, every were, state has were, a Third you, Street. So I don't know. Yeah, right. In Indiana. Were you driving? Like, what no, was going we were just on? walking. We were going from like a comedy club to a bar and uh, pulled out a gun. And uh, he took two, us with two girls. They both took their purses. And you then, were with two chicks? Uh, well, one was my ex wife. Okay. Oh. And her friend. <laughs> the two girls were together like this. And then the guy was like, he pretended to be uh, drunk. Okay. And uh, and then he went in between the two girls, bumped them both, and grabbed both purses. So Whoa. like, that, yeah, and he, and he just like uh, took off. And then, um, so then we started to chase him. And then he had another guy who was like, what happened? What happened? And I was like, they, they he just stole the two purses. He's like, come on, let's get him. Let's get him. Oh, shit. No. Oh, my God. So we start running down he Third Street. He just came out of nowhere. But he was working with the other oh, guy. Of course. Damn. I can tell already. <laughs> then we come around and we get to, um, I go to the alley. Mm-mm. And another guy was helping us who was actually oh like a good God. guy. They pulled a the gun and I was just like, Take that was it. it. I was like, no. Not today. I would, in that wow. moment, I'd be so desperate. I would take off my, like, just my clothes. I'd be like, here, look, I have nothing. You took everything from me. Let me go. Like, I just, yeah. feel, I just feel like in that moment, I'm done. There's a 99% chance I don't, I don't think they want you to get naked or want your clothes. I think they, once they got the purse in the wall. I like, know, but like, every, here. even people, even people that do Does that shit. Help? Just, do, <laughs> just one of the wall, man. Your mind? <laughs> I know, but like, there's a sense of like, I feel like every like every every person, even if they're a gunman, or they, they still shit. They have a little bit of like a sense of heart. So if they just see how desperate I am, where I'm like getting naked, like, look, you took everything. I'm giving you everything. I just feel like they won't shoot. You can't shoot somebody like that. Just, like, did desperate. you think he was gonna shoot, or did you just think it was like 
intimidation. Um, I just wasn't going to find out. I didn't think he was going to shoot. Right, right. I, they didn't. I could see in their eyes that they were just like they weren't killers. They weren't killers. They were just they were just guys that wanted money, and they, it was a right around Christmas time. Tell wow. that to Bundy. Tell that to the Night Stalker. Did, now this was before credit cards, and <laughs> would they get like a checkbook? <laughs> a checkbook. This was uh, this was right. This was during the uh, Great Depression <laughs> in 1928, and so we had uh, gold coins. Yeah, Bitcoin. We had doubloons <laughs> in the sack. <laughs> Uh, did they get much? Uh, they, they were nice bags. Oh, okay. You know, I mean, they, the girls had nice bags. They designer. were like uh, designer bags. I don't know. I can't remember if there was a lot of money in there or whatever. But These right. days, the purses are more expensive than what's inside it. It's, you, it's, you know, it's funny, too. Like, when you're younger, you know, you you like, you think you're invincible. Now, if that happened, I wouldn't have even run around or chased them at all. I would have been like, yeah, go ahead. But when, you're, not but when it. you're younger, you're so dumb. You're just kind of like, oh, I, I'm, I'm the man. I got to do something here. I'm going to stand up for these ladies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. I can't live with myself unless I try. I'll, I think I'll die for this. It depends on the situation you're in. Like, I feel like financially, just, I, I feel, it all depends on that, too. I, feel I like. mean, but like, also in, in today's age, you get like your wallet or something stolen. You just cancel the credit cards before they get to use it. Right. Yeah. These days, you can't really steal much for uh, like. That's true. Yeah. Who carries a lot of spot. cash, right? Yeah. Yeah. Unless you're oh, a mobster, that's... and if you're a mobster, some shit's gonna go down. I know. Could you imagine? That'd be nice to have a friend in the mob. Some guy pulls a gun on you, you just pull a gun back, be like, <laughs> fuck you gonna do? Just carry a fake gun at all times and you'll be fine. It's like a toy gun. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about that. You could carry the toy gun. Bad advice from Zane. <laughs> get your money. I'm like, you give me all your money. <laughs> the cops pull Zane over. No, look, it's fake. <laughs> You guys should do that for your clip channel. Anytime Zane gives bad advice, just put them all together. <laughs> no, he would cry himself to sleep if I did that. Kind of did you have a rough childhood? My were you, childhood. Were you chased around the streets, beaten up. Uh, well, I was overweight, and Same. and I was the only Jewish kid in my school, so that was like there was a lot of uh, you know anti-Semitism then. But I didn't really. I didn't really know of it as that. I was just kind of like, oh yeah, whatever. Was it a Christian school? <laughs> it, no, like, it's just in? like it's just like a lot. My nickname was Wedge. That was my nickname in Wh school. Why? What is Wedge. That? What it's that Jew spelled backwards. <gasps> oh, but it wasn't. Oh, fucked up. But oh it, my god! But it, like now, if they did that, that would be like a hate crime. Did you know what it meant, or were you just like? No, I knew what it meant. I just walk in the room and and they would be like wedge like that. How, how do you? But flip it was more like a loving thing and just make it offensive. That's, <laughs> flip I mean, it backwards and make it worse than forwards. Yeah. I mean, I had a good childhood. It was pretty good. My parents are good. My dad was pretty. I love your mom. My mom's yeah, great. She's my my dad. My, my dad's favorite. great too. He just wasn't like a great dad. Like he was just he was just really masculine, hyper masculine guy, and like really wanted me to be this like fucking killer, and I wasn't. You know, I was like my mom. I was like super soft and mm -hmm. like a total mama's boy. Well, you're a really good dad. Oh, thanks. Like a really good dad. I try. Thank you, Mariah. You back me up. The crowd goes <laughs> <Yeah>. silent. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, yes. It's so funny. Like your the, kids turned out in incredible. I was, I was, oh my God, I was sitting with David and Natalie the other day, <laughs> and and I like so excited. And and so Wyatt had his fifteenth birthday. Uh -huh. Okay, and oh he my God. and he had this like existential this. crisis on his fifteenth birthday. Like what was supposed to be like a really happy day. You know, and and then also there's a pandemic, so it's like not a good birthday anyway. You can't have a party or anything. Yeah. And so he just had this existential crisis, like basically, like what am I gonna do with my life? And like, I, oh, that's I, way too young to worry. It about It was that. like he didn't, yeah. he, he didn't, he, and he also like didn't want to grow up. He was he's like, also like a way ahead of his age. I feel. Yeah, like, he's, he's beyond. His in years. some ways, in yeah. some ways, and so he was scared of like getting older. Basically, right. he was like, I still want to be a kid, and now I'm already 15, and like, where did it go? Do you think because he looks at you, and he's just like, oh my god? I don't know. Maybe, uh, yeah, without a question, like, he sees, why, because he sees how old I am? Is it was a joke. It was a joke. <laughs> <laughs> I, I literally hate that I call myself a comedian, because I never get jokes, so they always go over my head. I'm like, it, it, I should, was a, it was a should take that joke. out of my bio. It, it was like, I, I kind of snuck it in there. It was no, very lazy. Was I, I get it. But anyways, yeah, so he just had this existential crisis, so then I, I was I was telling, I tried to tell David. Like father, and, like son. <laughs> I tried to tell David and Natalie about this, like, existential crisis, because it was, like, bothering me, and they just completely ignored me. Like, they, no. I was, like, sitting in the hot tub, and I was, like, reflecting, and I just started to, like, open up, and then they didn't say anything, and I was just like, oh, they're, they're, that's right, they don't care. Because so when, when, when I was that age and I didn't have kids, I didn't care either. I'd yeah. be like, kids, what the fuck? Who gives a shit about yeah. that? Like, but then once you have them, it becomes such a like the main your main purpose, mm -hmm. and that's all you think about. Yeah, basically. How, he's not you... excited to like drive. 
No, I was going to teach him to drive the other day, mm -hmm. and he was like, yeah, I'll you try. You want to take him in the Lambo? Oh, my God. That would be insane. That'd get, be so... Get him his permit in the Lambo. That'd be crazy. That'd be badass. That'd be crazy. I don't think he's ready for that. He's crying like, I don't want to go. <laughs> <laughs> what did you end up telling him? Like, how do you... It's so hard. You can't really tell them anything. You try to you try to tell them stuff, and they just have to figure it out themselves. Like you can yeah. say all kinds of stuff, and they're smarter than I am, so I can't really. Yeah. You know, like Charlie went through the same thing. She was feeling like the same way, and I was I was kind of like, well, you know, maybe because you're like not seeing friends right now, maybe like you know you think certain groups of people don't like you or whatever, blah, 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 blah. And she was like, she already had an answer for that. She's like, no, that's not it. All my friends, I feel the same way. And I was like, all right, whatever. Like, you just feel dumb talking to them. They're mm -hmm. so... And Charlie just had a birthday last week too, Not right? that they're so smart, like smarter than every other kid. Right. But just kids today are so smart, are so much yeah. smarter than me. I mean, they're closer in age. They know a lot age. more than, than I yeah. did at And their they're age. closer right, in right. age to you guys, obviously. Mm -hmm. So you have to remember, like, I'm like a different generation. Like, yeah. we don't have right. fucking phones. Like, there's the, they're getting so much older just by looking yeah. at the phone. The they're, phone they're, they're, and they're, like they're learning yeah. so much more, like there's way stuff, faster at a younger age. There's yeah. stuff Crazy. coming coming in to them from like there's kids from other towns that know them, so there'll be like drama from Weird. other towns that they haven't kids they haven't met. Oh damn, they have like a wow. kind of a mob kind life. Cool. And I had no other, friends other growing up, and certainly no phone either. So it was just like I didn't have to deal with any of that. Yeah, that's really hard for kids. There's a lot of like competition and pressure. Yeah, I think, I think it's so dangerous for kids nowadays. Like just the the whole access to like social mm -hmm. media and like. It's awful. The immediacy Scary, of like yeah. seeing like everything going on. I don't film my kids anymore. They don't want to be in the videos. They're they're smart though. They don't let it get to their heads or anything like that. They're very creative. Yeah. Do you, do yeah. you think they're gonna get into social media and like YouTube and start? No, I don't think so. I think I mean Wyatt wants to do music, but I don't know if that might be like a more behind the scenes thing, like a scoring. Okay. Films and stuff like that, and I don't know what she wants to do. She says she wants to be some kind of performer but it changes every day um do you think they were like like when they were younger did they love the camera did they love being on social media or like was it kind of like they saw it so much they were just like oh i'm kind of tired of i it. think i think they loved it that we when i started vlogging like a few years ago i had like a little family channel and that was like really fun to do I remember that. To be with them. And they were great on camera. They would crack jokes. I actually everything. really like that channel. Like because <laughs> you're trying fun. to be clean and everything. Yeah, it, was it, clean. Was, it was nice. And and um but then as they've gotten older, they don't want any part of it. They're just kind of like, I'll, I'll like turn the camera on. But if Joe comes over and he films, she'll go off and like roast me and it'll yeah. be really funny. But she, they don't want to do it. And I was like, yeah, you don't want to do it. Don't worry. Um, you Did know. a beetle just fall out <laughs> Dude, of hey, Come on. You're not I'm molting. <laughs> Wait, um, hold on, sorry. We all saw that. I was just like, don't bring it up. Don't I, bring I it up. Like, I'm, I'm taking, I, I've been, I've had this toothpick. <laughs> oh, sorry. And it's I've been a cracking whole, it. A whole creature just fell out of his uh, scalp. <laughs> <laughs> oh, like, no. It, it didn't look like that. It looked like a, it's like on your a, shirt, a, a yeah. it looked like a, it looked like a beetle. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I had had to to say I'm so ha -ha, curious. Jason doesn't shower. <laughs> <laughs> I shower for this. Um, are you guys gonna have kids? I'm, I, oh, and by the way, I'm not trying to say you and Mariah, but I mean like you all want kids, right? I hate when people used to do that to me and Marnie. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, you guys having kids? Uh, yeah. Oh, I hate that. I fucking hate that. But I mean, you guys all want kids, right? Yeah. 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 I would love kids. That's so oh funny. I, yeah. I, all you guys do, even like uh, David, Natalie, Todd, they all want kids. So exciting. I, I, think, I just I, want to see mini uses. Yeah. You <laughs> selfish, just so selfish. <laughs> just <narcissistic. laughs> it looks just like me. No, I've always I always want kids. It's fucking I creepy, Mariah. Kids. I'll tell you, I have mini uses, and it's let's like, say what you. Is that like, let's say like you and grow. let's say you and Heath did have kids. Mm -hmm. You would have like a son that or or a daughter that would just be Heath. Oh and it would be gosh. freaky as hell. Like as they grow up, you see they do little mannerisms and things, and you're like, "Oh, that's me." Oh my god, Charlie would be just like her mother, like so that's many crazy. times, like really Weird. tough, and really like, "No, we're doing it this way," and that's that's it. I've seen that side <laughs> and, of Charlie and, too. Yeah, you've seen that side of Charlie, yeah. and and Wyatt will be like, "Okay, we'll do it your way," yeah, yeah. and that's me. <laughs> that's you, yeah. yeah. So that's I've so had uh, two friends that have had like kids, and yeah. they said like it didn't like hit them like as a dad. Like you, like you see your wife or your girlfriend, whatever, carrying the child. Right. Yes. And you're just like, yeah, I got a baby coming. And it's just like, <laughs> yeah, 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 she's pregnant. But like, it's like you ordered something from Amazon. Right. Yeah. And you're just kind of waiting on it, and you have no idea what kind of storm is coming. Right. Yeah. Exactly for That's the men. That's funny. And exactly, he said, he said like, as soon as it came out, <laughs> it hit, and it was just like, oh my god. Yes. And then it was like, a like a switch just flipped, and like. 
he said it like unlocked a part of him that he like he had no idea <laughs> yeah. like even existed. Is that what it felt like? Yeah, it's 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 not like an acid trip or anything, or it's not. It's, <laughs> I didn't it's, think that. It's, it, <laughs> I don't think anyone's saying that during delivery. <laughs> That's smart. That's good. Uh, no, it it it, it and it's not even that severe. It's just kind of like um, what is true. Yeah, uh, it's hard to explain, but yeah, it's just like okay, yeah, like, it's, like it's all about the kid now. That's it, and that's just the way it is. And the other thing that's interesting is like the f the first couple years, the first year is like it's still really about the mom and the kid, right? You know, and you're there helping, you know, like a like a coach or whatever, or like Betty, just I'll a free, you a free, a free hand, <laughs> yeah. But you can only do so much. Did you cut the umbilical cord? Yeah. You did. You did. Yeah, oh my did. god! Did, did yeah. you, like, I feel like that's a it, myth like, to me in my like, head. They try to make you feel useful in there because you're sitting there, freaking out, freaking out, doing nothing. It probably helps you, you not pass out. I'm just too. like picturing just you something. with like garden shears, just like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what kind of what kind of scissors is it? It's like safety scissors, or is it just nice like giant scissors? Really nice ones. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, sharp and long. Ooh. They're like these long surgical scissors that you wouldn't be able to get your hands. That's on. That's just some shit that I would just like, like while no one's looking, just put them in my pocket, just have it like a little souvenir. Now the mother has like a cord hanging out of them. Yeah. Now do you cut it? You have to birth the, the placenta too. Yeah. So the placenta right? comes out and it's just attached to the placenta. You ate the placenta, right? <laughs> With bok choy, yeah. <laughs> with, <laughs> a yeah, little knife, great. just kind of. Yeah, yeah. You just cut it, and and then you Weird. you actually take the cord now and you use it. You you freeze it for stem, stem cells. Cell. Yeah. yeah. If you have twins, you can double dutch. <laughs> oh. Yeah. A lot of people don't know that. that All right. Well, anybody, I, I, <laughs> a lot of people don't. I wonder why. <laughs> anybody listening that's gonna have twins? A lot let's, of people don't know. Let's that. see something like, happen. I, I wonder, like, funny. if the, like <laughs> if, if if like the first people like thousands of years ago didn't know that you had to cut it were they walking around with like a kid on a leash for as They're long as like, it lasted or, and, Probably. You have, and you have to think about it like how scared 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 how scared they were to cut it they were like oh my gosh should we cut this are you gonna feel this did you cut it uh you felt that nope all right we can yeah. start cutting it so start weird. cutting gotta do start something cutting. and then the best time is um when they get to be because i mean babies are cute they're cute they don't for, do much uh, <laughs> they don't do anything yeah mm -hmm. you know but and and like uh, but what's really fun is when they like just like three, four, five, and and then five, six, seven. Those are like the fucking best years because they're they're just these like they're little little kids and they they start to like things like they'll be like they'll start to like the same things you like. Like we used to go to this restaurant at Fred Se called Fred Siegel. Yeah, um, oh, and so good. And I would always go there even before I had kids and work there all day and write and stuff. And then that became their. They'd be like, let's oh. go to Fred Siegel. And you're like, oh my God. Oh, like, so imagine cool. if you had a little kid that's like, let's get let's get in the Lambo. Or like, dad, that's Let's go to it. Saddle Ranch. It's, yeah. uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's something special you have with your kid that like they they like so cool. they come up with the idea all the time. So it's just like, oh my God. It's like something that they just like. It's like what Mariah said. Somewhere. It's like they become little versions of you. That's, that's awesome. so especially like when you see them like start to develop <laughs> their personality. And oh my gosh. Like I see that in my students and I'm like, oh my gosh, they're making decisions for themselves. Like I'm picturing, they're three years old now. Oh, I don't know. I love it. <laughs> I'm picturing like a little five year old Heath just like Papa, can I have a cigarette? Papa. <laughs> Papa. I don't know why he had a fucking accent. And, and you're just like, Papa. Well, don't tell mother. <laughs> Listen here, if you keep it a secret, I'll give you a whole pack. Um why it went to like a private school this year, which yeah. was like a big decision, which was like, well, we, none of us went to private school. Mm -hmm. Like we all like kind of were thrown into public right. school and had to fight and work. And, and when, <laughs> and when I was saying like, you're going to look, go here, you got in, this is like a really tough school to get into. Like you, you did it. Like you killed it. And he was like, I, I don't, he's like, I don't want to go there. He's like, I, I think I just want to go to a public school. Wow. And we were like, yeah, but there's no, no public, like this public school in LA is not like in, you know, like back home in Florida or whatever, you know, yeah. or even like Vernon Hills where David's how, from. How old was he? This was this year. Oh, this year. Yeah. And so he I'm like, well, try it. You can always go to public school. And he really likes it. It's so interesting because like my brother went to a private school and I uh -huh. went to public uh -huh. my entire life. And what, what, and what happened? <clears throat> he was just saying. <laughs> <laughs> well, I have to do this fucking podcast with Zane every week. My brother's like on a yacht. fucking mess. <laughs> 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 White was saying that he misses public school. He misses like the funny parts of public school, like the fuck up yeah. in class. You know right. what I mean? Like yeah. the person that doesn't have their homework. The person like they're in the class the, clown. The class clown in his private school. No one's a fuck up. Everybody's yeah. like game on. Uh -huh. Like wow. they're ready to like be. So is this just like overachievers get accepted? Yeah, it's like a lot of overachievers or whatever. Wow. And uh, and he said he just misses 
he misses that. He misses which one of the which I get I- ish- instruments mm-hmm. got him in. <laughs> no, he didn't even. That wasn't even part of it. He wow. didn't even he's just audition brilliant. or anything. No, he's not. I don't know. I don't know. He's so humble. It's, I don't know what to <laughs> say about it. Amazing. I'll tell you this. He's smarter than I was, for the sure. The principal is a huge fan of David's vlogs. <laughs> <laughs> just like, oh, well, we can squeeze him in. Somebody asked him that at one of the one of the schools that he went in and um, auditioned, whatever. Not audition. He had an interview, and they asked him that in the in the uh, interview. Wow. They oh, were like, really? They were like, I feel so like that's you, like crossing a so line. So your dad's a YouTuber. Uh, what's that like? And oh, I was, think he could do a shout out for the school like once a month. <laughs> like, was that like, a were, they trying to get, were they trying to get something out of him or they were just like curious? They're like, oh, your dad's a YouTuber. I don't know. You? I wasn't in on the interview they, and they you can never get, get a straight up. answer from That's Wyatt. That's true. Yeah. Yeah. Right? yeah. What's He's, that called? Oh my God. It's pouring rain. Is that rain? Yeah. Oh, shit. Oh, this is a soothing. rare thing, guys. We're in Jason LA right goes, now. All my windows are down. <laughs> <laughs> the convertible. <laughs> my roof. My roof where the house the is open. But they're sweet kids. They're 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 very sweet. No, they're overly sweet. You know what I mean? Like yeah. why why called me today when we were training, and he was like, um, is, can I? Um, uh, is it okay? I'm going away to um Santa Inez this weekend. Is it okay if I take the um the keyboard? Um, is it okay if I take going the keyboard? Is, is it is he scared of you or is he just like a no? He's he's not scared of me. He's just like super excited and overly polite. I'm. He's like, is it okay if I take the keyboard because they're going away with their mom? And I was like, yeah, take the fucking keyboard. It's your keyboard. <laughs> Jason, what, what if this is just a front? About? He's saying all this shit and then he turns and he's like, fucking loser. Yeah, he's like, <laughs> what? Okay. I'm waiting for him to have that day where he's like, just fuck snaps. you, but it hasn't come yet. No, he loves you. Your kids love you so much. They're yeah. nice kids. You're such a good dad to them. Thanks. I'm trying. I, Devin just left to like stop the rain somehow. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Uh, we're filming. <laughs> hey, speak with the mayor, please. <laughs> just... I will say one last thing about your kids. Charlie yeah. is an amazing student. Oh, amazing! I was so impressed when she started to take lessons with you, and then the next week she was in a full split. <laughs> like it, I was like, what? I was <laughs> jealous. I was jealous. Well, that... I showed her videos of me at her age, and I wasn't even close to what she could do. And she was like, Oh, oh, I am good. Well, that's because like, yeah. Mariah's there with a hammer. <laughs> yeah. All right. Nope. Not low enough. <laughs> <laughs> Torture <laughs> <laughs> Fucking misering it. <laughs> it is crazy because she showed me like before and afters of just like that short time that she had been working. It with seemed her. like it was two so weeks. So fast. Right. Yeah. It was. I feel like you had two sessions with her, and suddenly she was a dancer. It's either yeah. Charlie's really good or Mariah's a good teacher. Right, one of the two. A <laughs> little bit of both. A little bit of both. both. I kind of want to take dance lessons with you. I want to pay for like <laughs> that's a six, such a good video. A six session, co- like a six like d- mm-hmm. whatever course, and just be like, where can I get like and actually take it seriously? We can't like no TikToks. Yeah. No laughing. Like yeah. serious. Like m- like fucking. We've already just, said like you could be good, but you don't take it seriously. Uh, hold on, I could be what? <laughs> you know what you what should do don't get them started train train for six weeks with her and then rent a theater and then bring us all there and do like a <gasps> do fucking a recital recital Jason, like, you want me to have a fucking heart attack like a 15 <laughs> minute like recital just recital and just dance so and right can you be there like on the side just like okay we should no i'll stand no. in the wings where right, you're like you got this you have costume the hook. you have costume right. changes you have the hook right it's just like with the camcorder like doing <laughs> the <laughs> tiktok's made me appreciate dance like just yeah. watching yeah. it everybody's a dancer now it's made me appreciate the art of dance like like oh there's so much value in it like i would never watch those movies step up and dance or even the reality shows step up and dance but for some is, reason is tiktok is <laughs> like it's just step up <laughs> or whatever <laughs> Step up and dance, dance, dance. I'm, I'm, I'm 50. Shut up and drive. I think a vlog squad talent show would be fucking cool. Such a good idea. Okay, so, but what's the talent that we, we gotta come up with Anything. something? And is, everybody, a song. Well, none of us have talent. So what, what's Double our, what's our talent? Double dutching with the placenta. <laughs> <laughs> Yuck. Miss Mary Sack. 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 <laughs> That's disgusting. He, I can wrap my legs around you and you can spin me with my hands in there. We can do that. I think it's a great idea. You should do it. We should all do it. That's a good idea. Like stuff like That's that's really so funny. fun. The roast was so fun. Yeah. Like whenever somebody even 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 when we get together and like watch like Todd's premiere or whatever, like like I don't know. That I, yeah, I, I live it, for that. Yeah, it's it's really nice to have like little moments like that. Like when you guys together. premiered the coffee. I was so excited that day. <laughs> Because there was not much going on in my life. <laughs> and I remember like hearing about it. And I remember the day before I was like, oh, today's Cremona launch. Oh, and then I remember being like, oh, no, no, it's tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, shit. Yeah, that, was, that was such a stressful day for us. It was you like, guys did great, though. I mean, yeah, no, no. It, 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 it was so good. The coffee's so good. I finished it. Appreciate yeah? It. Yeah. More? We got well, some more. Oh, I'll take some. Oh. 
Oh, but I like. I'm not a pod guy. Wait, wait, wait. I, oh, give him the ground. Well, give him the fucking box. Bag. That's a, <laughs> I mean, that's I love just for show. I mean, I'll take it for for I'll, in, a, in a pinch. I want. We have one last pod of that new flavor. Oh, I want a different I, flavor. I want oh, you to yeah, try this new should, one. I want to try something so else. Bad. What is it? What's it guy. called? We can't I, say I it. I can't yeah. say it. Oh. It's, it is, it's literally the best flavor. Uh, are you pod can, guys? Can you make it? I oh, no, grinds. no, because he's not going to be able I to love see a the grind. Fl- I love the flavor a grind. and all oh. that. Is there a point? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, like, um, do you want uh, cream I would and a little love bit the, of sweet? Uh, cream and a little bit. No, of I like it black. Just black. Cool. Way to do it. Yeah. Can you make that? Thank you. I was trying to explain to my kids what coffee is the other day. Can you guys explain it? It's from like a cherry, basically, like a little like uh huh fruit thing, and it's a seed. Yeah. That they like dry out and then it like hardens and then it's just like that little seed thing that they so hmm. fun. I wanna they, th- they get rid of all the moisture in it and then they like But it doesn't taste like cherry. Yeah, yeah. the but, process is is very interesting too. But flav- it- like flavor wise, like in terms of if you think of all the things that you can eat, like for me, coffee just it's there's just it's nothing thing. like it. Like it's yeah, like I it can't it's explain yeah. it. Yeah. It's earthy. It's Do your kids drink coffee? No. No, but they seem they, they see me with it all the time. Black, hot. Like in the mug. I'm yeah. trying to remember like what age I started drinking coffee at because I always remember being like, "Why do you drink?" Like it's it doesn't taste good. Well, yeah, it was gross to us because it like wasn't a thing. It was college for me. Yeah, that was it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then I used to smoke too. Weed. Cigarettes. Oh, nice coffee oh. and a cigarette. There's literally like coffee and a cigarette. Name a better duo. Oh, <laughs> like, Zane and Heath. We've never seen you smoke a cigarette before, right? No, you, you no, quit I don't way smoke, before you no. met us. I mean, no, I've had one with you. Like yeah, maybe no, 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 no for cigarettes. sure, for sure. At like a party or something. Yeah, yeah. used to have uh, American Why experience. Yes, that's right. Mm. I, we've known each other. Them gums. shit takes no, like gum, three yeah. weeks to fucking finish one cigarette. Mm. Oh yeah, no, I used to like the um, uh, the chemicals. Yeah, pa- yeah. Uh, Marble Light. I love the chemicals. There you go. Oh my god, fucking a. <laughs> He wants so to spark good. up right now. But they they do. They you really smell. And we have a pack for you. Devin, bring the cigarettes. <laughs> the coffee cigarette We're getting flavor. him back. <laughs> I love that vibe, though, of like people on uh, Rogan, where they're just like smoking cigars the whole time they're doing the podcast indoors. Yeah. And you're just like, ah, something so cool about it. Yeah. Nah, I can't do it in here. Yeah. I'm renting. <laughs> <laughs> you still do the Nicorettes, right? Yeah. I've heard about the patches. Are the patches like something where you do before the gum or after the gum? Because I heard the patches are really good. You just wear it same. all day. It gives you it gives you nightmares. Mariah tried really? Nicorette. What'd you think? Well, she thought I felt she, sick to my stomach. She freaked out. It's a lot. She was like grabbing was her gum. throat. She she was like, <laughs> make it stop because it was like that like kind of weird ball in your throat. Yeah, you know that feeling. Well, it felt the, like my throat was closing up, and I was like, "Never." Well, again. he that's the menthol ball that you pop in the in the cigarettes. The <laughs> oh, the, the camel, camel crush. Yeah, yeah the, the camel, camel crush. crush. Yeah, it'll burn your mouth if you don't if you've never had one before. Because people go, "Oh, can I have some gum?" And I go, "You wouldn't want this." Yeah, I've had it before too. And then they're like, "I'll try. It'll be good." good. And then they're like, <laughs> "Can we dying. try one?" <laughs> yeah. It's in my jacket. Want, I just want to do it. it it's I, I just know it's I, I've had it before. It's not good. Guys, we're taking drugs live on the show here. We say it's the high episode. It's just- <laughs> this is the high episode. <laughs> All right. Guys, we're, we're popping some oh tags God, here. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. What is it doing? Hey. Yeah. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> oh, my God. It just flew out. <laughs> it just flew Don't like it? Sure. What? It's interesting. It's like God, it, has funny phase, taste. it has phases to it. Yeah. It really gets you through the day. <laughs> the day is over. <laughs> what phase are you at right now? Um, like when we finish this, I'll have one. Yeah. Yeah. But I try not to have it after six. You don't drink at all. No, I wish I did. This. Oh, this is the new one. Oh, you know the this is the new flavor. Alcohol. I wish I could get drunk. Um, I don't like alcohol. It, it doesn't uh I, I, it doesn't do it. Oh my god! Yeah, you, you could describe it. We'll just bleep it out. Yeah, I'll bleep if it. If you want to. Yeah, how intense is that? It's, is it like? <laughs> Holy shit! Oh, that's really nice. This episode is brought to you by DoorDash. You want dinner? Check. Deodorant? Check. A morning pick me up from Dunkin'. 
Check. Get anything you need whenever you need with DoorDash. DoorDash connects you with the restaurants you love right now, right to your door. And now you can get your grocery store essentials that you need with DoorDash. Get drinks, snacks, literally whatever you want in under an hour right to your door. Ordering is easy. All you got to do is open up the DoorDash app, choose what you want, and everything will be left right at your door with the now contactless delivery option. With over 300,000 partners in the U.S., Puerto Rico, Canada, and Australia, you can support your neighborhood go-tos or choose from your favorite national restaurants like Popeye's, Chipotle, or my favorite, the Cheesecake Factory. Baby, everybody knows you love Cheesecake Factory. Yep. For a limited time, our listeners are going to get 25% off, zero delivery fees on your first order of $15 or more. When you download the DoorDash app and enter code UNFILTERED2021. That's 25% off up to a $10 order and zero delivery fees. When you download the DoorDash app and enter code UNFILTERED2021. Don't forget that's code UNFILTERED2021 for 25% off your first DoorDash order. Subject to change? Terms apply. Thank you, DoorDash. Our next sponsor is brought to you by Honey. These days, it feels like online shopping is all we do. That's where today's sponsor, Honey, comes in. As they should. Honey is the free browser extension that scours the internet and applies the best promo codes to your checkout. Honey is basically your online shopping best friend. Uh, excuse me. I'm your online best friend. <laughs> Baby, not when it comes to Honey, though. Okay, you know what? We can be replaced. And here's how it works. You get Honey on your computer for free in two easy clicks. Then when you're checking out on one of its over 30,000 sites... Honey pops up and all you have to do is click apply coupons. And if Honey finds a coupon... It applies the best one to your cart. Guys, Honey has found its over 17 million members, over $2 billion, $2 billion in savings. I just start buying a bunch of shit. <laughs> yeah. like, I'm like, oh, well, I saved $2 billion. <laughs> it's okay. It makes sense. Exactly. And it supports all kinds of retailers from tech and gaming sites to fashion brands to even food delivery. It's simple. If you have a computer, Honey should be on it. It's free, baby, and it works with whatever browser you use. And Honey should be on it. You can get Honey for free today at joinhoney.com slash unfiltered. Baby, save the money. Like, there, there's no point in not having it. Like, you're going to save money. All you got to do is just download it. And then it's literally and then shop there for, like you normally would. It's there forever. That's it. It's at the corner of your screen, whatever mm -hmm. website you go on. A lot of websites are connected to Honey. And, and most of the time, you you're going to forget about it. You're going to be shopping. You're going to click. And then you'll be like, oh, my God. Baby, I'm making money. I just saved $850 on this rug. $2 billion. It's crazy. So, again, that's joinhoney.com slash unfiltered so they know we sent you. Thank you, honey. We love you so much. Thank you for saving us money. Bubba, you missed it. We have a leak in the kitchen. The rain? That little Shut bit up. of rain oh, no. caused a bit of a leak in the kitchen. Where? I've secured it. How did you see? Did you stop that the rain? Because it stopped We get literally know, five right? minutes of rain in our house. The roof fucking. Has it not rained here since you've moved here? Maybe once, but very light. Yeah. Do you see yourself staying in LA like for the rest of your life? Such a great question. I don't know. If I if I had like enough money, I'd probably leave now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'll, I'll leave at some point. Yeah. Like, where if, would you want to go? I'll probably go to the um, Northern Coast. California or Santa Barbara. Oh yeah. Yeah. <gasps> Santa nice. Bar I could see you in this, Santa Barbara. Yeah, I love Santa Barbara. Beautiful. Um, maybe the Maybe Texas. Oh. What about you guys? <laughs> he keeps I'm trying picturing. to talk and I keep cutting him off. <laughs> I, whatever it, I have to say is not a board, I promise. I, <laughs> it's just think, a bunch of yeah, mumbo jumbo. I think it's the gum and the, yeah, the, the gum is throat, like cutting it, them off. I feel high. Oh, really? Yeah. Fuck, Welcome sorry. to the high episode. I'm bugging right now. We should smoke pot on camera right now. <laughs> and the crowd goes silent. The problem when I smoke pot is like I, I'm incoherent. Yeah. Like you'll ask me a question and they'll be like, I'm having a hard time with this gum right now. <laughs> Jason, it feels like I just smoked like 10, 15 cigarettes. I want to. I want to tell you, it wasn't my idea that you try it. It was Listen, your idea. It was, it was a pretty good you piece of gum, up. but uh, <laughs> it's a lot. Talked about coffee and then cigarettes. That's only and... two milligrams too. Wow, really? Yeah, they have a four, which will knock you I in your ass. I do react really fucking poorly when it comes to. We're just lightweights. Yeah. No, you're just not used to it. This is great. Thank you. Damn. So you sold out of the coffee mm -hmm. first day. Incredible. Thank you. Did we anyone like it. do a write up or anything? Or did you get in like business insider for that or no one cared? Uh, <laughs> yeah. um, no, no one cared. I don't, think anybody can really care. I don't know, but we like to keep it low key in the end of the day. So. Yeah. yeah, it's nice humble. to keep things low key. Everybody, they wanted to, but everybody we told that them watches now. and listens and got the coffee cared. So that's all. That really yeah, matters. I mean, that's what's nice is your audience loves you guys. I mean, they're just. And we love you too. They're so mm -hmm. loyal to you guys and it's really nice. I'm so excited it, for the new stuff to come out. Like. Yeah, oh, yeah. We're doing a whole 
We're doing a whole. I don't even know. Yeah, I can't even say. Are you guys it. okay? You guys are freaking me out. Because I'm I had bu- fucking nickel I'm right gone. Right? It's like we gave them mushrooms. Like <laughs> they. Yeah. yeah. Is it hot in here? Yeah. They're gonna throw up. In I don't a second. Know. I'm just. Give me. Spit it out. I'm just gonna take these off. And Heath, you're still chewing. Is it? Just <laughs> say what the fuck? Just spit it out. <laughs> What's happening? Is it? Uh, like, touching the fucking guys. Sign. It's Nicorette. It's not <laughs> crap. Yeah, what do you think? You What's have? happening? <laughs> Zane. It's <all> <laughs> Stop! Oh my god! Yeah, what are you doing? Is it true know. that the more you chew, the like worse it gets? Uh, uh yeah, the ass. more you chew, yeah. <laughs> it's the longer, the longer, the longer it's de- still chewing it. Zane's got a fucking cooler on him right here. <laughs> <laughs> Give me. He, you could spit it out. I got, I got a fucking, I got a fucking Shit. cooler on, man. <laughs> What's Shadow Hill? It's a, uh, you know, it's just like an Instagram model brand. Oh right, right. I forgot your name. They give it to model. Instagram models, and I'm one of them. <gasps> so. Oh man. What do you guys think is gonna happen? What do you guys think? Uh, what do you guys think? Yeah. How much? What do, what do you guys think? What do you guys think? What do you guys think is gonna happen to Instagram? Uh, I think they're they're running it to the ground. I think it's gonna turn into the same thing Facebook did, where it was like cool, and then the parents are gonna start getting on fa- or uh, Instagram. Like the shop. So it'll still be a it. very viable yeah. platform. I don't think parents. I don't think parents yes. like. Inst- I don't think they fuck with Instagram. They didn't fuck with Facebook either. Let me tell you something. When you're over forty, that is not your platform. Instagram, what? even TikTok's a better platform for me. Putting a picture of your face. Let me tell you something. When you want to like take a picture of yourself and you're over forty or forty five, I'm forty seven. Uh-huh. It is the Maybe it is harrow- it's harrowing. <laughs> it is fucking harrowing. There is no good picture I you must can be take of my then, face because same. I, tr- I promise you. When do you turn forty eight? I turn forty eight in May. When's your oh May? May twenty oh, third. You are May. Oh yeah yeah yeah. Well, I do lie about my age, but you look you look great for your age. Yeah, you oh, look so good. You look you got young. better hair than Zane and I. Ex- ex- I was, he I was just, took the words right out of my mouth. Well, I don't know. I got lucky in that department. That's the if only you thing were I got. bald, <laughs> you wouldn't be Not on here so right much. now. I mean, trust me. When you get this old, it, nothing works. Everything's just. You think the hair got no. you the job with David? <laughs> <laughs> no, I think the opposite. I think if I was like bald, he probably would have liked me even more. Mm. That's why he's close with Howie. <laughs> 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 and he only likes him when he's Dr. Phil. Uh, how's, how's David doing? You think he's going to post again? Um, David is doing good. He's found other ways to he like, make money. He seems like happier than ever. The, I, the times I see him. Yeah. I think he needed a break. Mm-hmm. I think so. Too. I, I think said he the went, same he, thing. He, he, I, think I think everybody needed his, a break. His, his mental. Uh, he was just going too hard. Like you guys are good. Like I watch. You guys don't work as much. <laughs> <laughs> so you guys are great. No. You guys don't need breaks. No, I, I'm, I'm, I, like you guys have like a healthy work ethic where it's like you do your work and then like you guys will be like social and do stuff. Like when I was working with him, we were just like that was all we would do. There'd be so many times where there was you had a um a birthday party on a boat for Mariah, right? Yeah. For Mariah's birthday, and David and I showed up on like a Wednesday and we were out till three in the morning before and we fell asleep on the boat and it was just like. It just was, I felt shitty because I fell asleep and it was just like, we were just, I don't know. I was just trying to keep that pace up and just try mm-hmm. to like keep. It's hard to right. balance it. Putting but you, out but content. You, like, but it was fun though. Like gave you a high. Like the fact that you get up and like get did. shit done. Oh my God. Yeah. It gave me such a high to yeah. go out and, and it gave me purpose and it gave me like, you know, the, the, the idea to, to be able to go out with him. And I mean, you all did it too, but to be able to go out with him and maybe get a joke in the vlog or whatever, or do something funny. Do you and, feel yeah. like you still have purpose? Not as much. Like, I, I mean, I like do my videos. I tried, I, I tried to do my videos last year as best as I could. And then now it's like, it's just not the same as working with him. It's right. just not, it's just like, you're not there. The thing that he does so well is he knows how to edit me and I don't know how to do that. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? And so he'll make me look so good and so funny when in reality, I'm not that funny. You're hilarious. You're, you're literally, the funniest it's nice. funniest the the That's because he makes me look so great no, in those no, in, no in real life oh, like that's when really I'm around nice. you you are the funniest person you guys I've ever met. gotta get out more hey you met Steve Carell <laughs> <laughs> right I did I did Joe dude Heath that was the Joe. best <laughs> no no Joe has been going Joe. around saying that he met Steve Carell Jason no, he's not that conversation story. Yeah, so I mean it's kind of a probably. joke but uh, he'll be like, like we were in the car with Susie the other day. He's like, hey, did I tell you? I met Steve Carell yesterday. And I'll be <laughs> like, what a prick. I'm like, that's his story. Damn. Yeah, no, I'm still fucking like going nuts about it. He's, it was absolutely unreal. I wouldn't get excited about meeting too many celebrities. He would. He's, I've he's met, I've met him. I know his wife. 
Okay. And I and when I did, I met him like in an airport once, and so nice. Did you like hang out with him for like five minutes? No, you had a much better interaction. That makes it so much better that he was so nice. Yeah, he was just right? so sweet and well, well tell the story. Um, so I was going over to Scott's house to work out, right? And I was getting close, and Matt had pulled out like right in front of me and like turned on the street before, and like I just pulled up to like as a joke, just be like up next to him i was like you just cut me off you asshole like because i don't think he really like saw me like right but, um but like i pulled up next to him and i just like made a quick little joke we laughed and then he turned and then i turned and i was going a complete opposite way from scott's house yeah and i'm driving and there's a car ahead of me that's coming and the streets here are tight so you got to like kind of scoot over and let one person go through and then you can go so he stopped a little ways back to like let me go through so as i'm getting close i noticed the car that he was driving i didn't know like obviously it was him but the car that he was driving is like one of my favorite cars in the world and he's had his eye on it in the neighborhood too like, uh -huh. i'm just like it, yeah i love this car and he talks like, about it all the time it was a, it was a color that's like new and it was just like it was really exciting for me yeah so i started slowing down as i'm getting closer and rolling my window down just to be like <laughs> hey i like your car i'm a car guy the dad in you yeah hey so what do you think about it <laughs> um and I'm rolling the window down, like, I love the car, like, that color looks so good in person. And he starts rolling his window down, and he's like, what's that? And I was like, oh, I love the color looks incredible, like, I, I love that on that car, like, I haven't seen one in person like that, like, I just, how do you like it? I'm so curious. Right. And he started talking, and as I'm, like, talking to him, I'm like, holy fuck, this is, this is Steve <laughs> Carell. <laughs> and I'm trying to keep my face cool, and I'm just like... Oh my god! Wow, that is awesome. How do you like it? <laughs> <laughs> and like, we just like started talking for like a couple minutes, and he was so Steve Carell, mm. it was unreal. <laughs> just right. like everything so? about him, like that's the only way I can describe it. I remember just when I did meet him, just looking at him, being like, "How the fuck are you so funny?" Like, like trying to just take anything I could from this guy to like understand like what the right. magic that he had, like. It, do you, you watch the you guys watch the office right, right. i mean like yeah. it's it's <clears throat> mind blowing like mm -hmm. how insanely what a good improviser he is and like how many incredible just so many jokes he has and like, it's crazy like master. when you're watching it you could be like oh that was that was improv crazy it and is, it's amazing you can tell like each scene you know like behind the scenes that's played over so many different ways yeah. and they just are all of them. And they're you know, so brilliant. And you know they're having the time of their lives every day I, when they're filming. I like, always it's just said like, that. Yeah. I feel like that was that would have been the best set to ever be on. <clears throat> yeah. Or just to just to even be able to like play that character and like not make him too sad. Yeah. Like that's the genius of it. Like you could watch that character and be like, "That's a, what an asshole." Yeah. yeah. You know, or you could be like, "This is so but he's sad." So lovable. But he does it in a way where you just so love perfect. him. Yeah. Like it's fucking right. nuts. Yeah. It's so good. Yeah, but it was so it's cool, brilliant. and I, I felt funny though because I was like. When I looked back after the whole like encounter, I was yeah. like, he probably thought I was a fan pulling up, rolling my window right. down because I like, recognized him. But like I was pulling up with my window down, giving him a thumbs up before like I even got right. close enough. So I wonder if he was just like, oh, fuck, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He could have been like, you know, cooped up in the house and this was his one one time out for the right. day. That's he true. was like happy to he talk to anybody. Some eggs real quick. <laughs> yeah. If I if I see people now that you know see me out, I'm like, I love it. I'm like, oh please talk to me. Yeah. Hi. Somebody please. <laughs> somebody, I can't somebody wait tell to me I'm funny. <laughs> yeah. I can't wait to talk to people again. Just like outside. Oh like just random God. people. Normal human interaction. We saw, a par we saw a party scene last night. We were watching Kirby Enthusiasm, Wyatt and Charlie and I. And there was a scene they were having a party and I was like do you guys remember like that? You guys remember parties, kids? <laughs> Do you remember? It, it, and it, it just seems gross now. Like when you see that shit it's just, or festivals or anything, you're just like, oh God, I can't believe we did that. But it's the just germ. like our mind oh God. fucking with us because of this year. Right, it's when, like, right when Corona broke and it was like really bad. Yeah. We, we were we were like cozied up at David's house and we, we turned on like an old vlog. And the first thing that came on was you and Heath licking a fucking pole. <laughs> pole. <laughs> <laughs> I, so that kind of happened to me. But the first thing I saw was me wringing out Zane's yes! sweat and drinking yes. oh my god yes all that can you catch, can you catch covid like that oh, fuck, I, don't I don't know, know. can you sweat that I'm shit sure. out? i don't know there I'm was sure a whole trend that was like um what's something that we did pre-covid that is like that seems like gross now like off limits and people were saying like bowling just having your fingers like <laughs> okay. just things oh like that my and god. then um i don't know if you know safara bowling. all the testers 
You can test yeah. out all the makeup. Hold on, yeah. you can't, like with the same brush? No, it's a different brush, but you're still dipping into what other people dipped into. Well, it's not like you're, they don't double dip, I feel like. like you don't know. There's not somebody like over your shoulder <laughs> right, watching right. you. I'm sure you didn't people get do. enough foundation. You're right, just... like if it's like mascara and like you put it in, you're like. <sighs> oh, I, that's that's bad before, but like that's bad. Yeah. <laughs> that's disgusting. Yeah. Oh, shit. Before. <laughs> we would go out somewhere my mom would be like like can we stop at safari before we go like gotta we, do my makeup real quick she would, get... no she would go in and she would do her nails with oh the nail my God. <laughs> just like the Damn. testers fucking tell me you're on a budget don't. without telling me <laughs> yeah. you're on a budget <laughs> That's Mariah, so tell him the story on TikTok. Uh, Mariah, story. tell him the story. No, she's gonna yell at me for that one. <laughs> you embarrass me. <laughs> we so gotta get your mom on here. No, we don't. Yeah, we do. <laughs> Sorry, T. Love you. <laughs> tell me we're the worst generation without telling us that we're the worst generation. <laughs> <laughs> what do you What do you think about it? About Gen Z. Just well, like the new, like millennials, Gen Z. We're not Gen Z, right? Who's no, John? Like no. what age? No. Like what age gap right now is Gen Z? You guys are millennials. Yeah, there was a yeah. video. Another oh sorry, another video on TikTok. This girl, her house was literally like burnt to the ground behind her. It was just the front door, and it was still smoking. And she was doing like a dance. And the top comment was, "Tell me you're Gen Z without telling me you're Gen Z." Yeah. She was like doing a whole TikTok dance, and it's her like house the, went up in flames. It's like <laughs> people doing the doing the TikTok in the car accident. Oh yeah, yeah I love those. I mean, they're great. <laughs> same, I, think same it's, Gen I think it's Z fun. At heart. I, because yeah. that's because that's something I would do if I like, literally if I if my car flipped and I like survived it, I'd be so happy that i survived this car crash where i would get out set up my phone while whoever is on their way and just do a fucking just do something whoever's on zane's way. upside down in his seatbelt <laughs> just <laughs> boom, 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 boom. he's like this wait <laughs> wait <laughs> corvette corvette, corvette. <laughs> jesus you facetime dixie <laughs> <laughs> Hey, yo, could do this collab real quick before the ambulance gets here. Zane's in the fucking stretcher. <laughs> He's got like his phone propped up. The paramedics are in the he background. He asked them to record something. Ring light. It is crazy. Those moments would be like, hey, David, come here. You could get a TikTok out of this. Before call. Yeah, David would be the first call before the police. Before 911, right. Before the police. That's horrible. Oh, oh yeah, because he God. needs to get it in live action before the police. Get come. the shot. The, the, the thing I always say about every generation is like, it's the same. It's the same thing. Like this generation, they're great. And your generation is great. And there's always that come up. There's, I'm sure like your parents looked at you guys and was yeah, like, what are these kids doing? There's always that it's come always up. It's always going to be something too. Yeah, like remember I, when, I, I, when I, Elvis was edgy? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I feel like we won't be yeah. like that. I feel like we'll get it. Unless our parents were thinking like the same thing too. I feel like we'll, we'll get it, whatever our kids do. I don't, I don't think, think so. so. Because no? I don't even, what the things Gen Z do, I'm like, what? I don't get it. I have to go through the comments and like have somebody explain it. I don't get it. A lot of things they do. I'm like, oh, yeah. Charlie explains funny. a lot to me too. Yeah, they're very, very caring. Mm -hmm. You know, oh, yeah. and they're yep. very socially uh, aware. But right. they all have the same weird mannerisms, and, like the things they do. But that's a product of I, being well, that age right. too. Yeah. Like yeah. you like, right. don't know who you are. There's yet. always going to be something. And, yeah. and it comes from seeing how people act, who they're watching too. I think right. they, they, they've all they started mimic to each share other. The and same. that's how we were. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. we, we, like the whole this, like you see kids will do. Yeah, like, just no, like, they go like this. Yeah, that too. Oh, oh yeah, my god, yeah. that lipstick. Yeah, but it, but but it makes sense because we all acted like who we would like look up to in high school or middle school. Like we yeah. would kind of yeah, we act like cool. them in some way. Yeah, we were. Well, we didn't make any sense. This episode is sponsored by Raycon. That was really impressive. I don't know about you, but I feel like I'm always looking at a screen now more than ever. And whether you're an avid news watcher or a need for a serious distraction, Raycon's got you covered. And Heath, you know what? You know what's my favorite way to just rest with my eyes shut, but still get the content I'm itching for? What's that? Which is listening to stocks. Is having okay. my Raycon wireless buds in my ears. Whether you're catching up on a podcast, an audio book, or you're powering through your workout, Raycon is right there to have your back and your ears. No more dangly wires coming from your earphones. You know, nobody likes it's to tacky. see that. Exactly. And they got some new colors that you could choose from. Uh-huh. And my favorite part is how discreet they are in your ear. Like, you could look someone straight in the face with those Raycons mm -hmm. in, and you can't even tell they're wearing one. Yeah, like, baby, they just fit so perfectly, and the Bluetooth pairs so seamlessly. On a flight, when yep. I want to lay down and what listen to something, it, it doesn't, it doesn't it, pop out. It doesn't pop out. And I can lay my, like, ear on my, like, yep. arm, and you can, it doesn't, like, there's it's not, not that nudge. Exactly. It's great. You can also listen to them for six hours on a battery life. Which is great for my flight. 
Mm -hmm. Maybe when I'm sleeping with the Raycons, it stays on. Plus, they're accessible to everyone. They start at half the price as the premium competitors. And guys, listen up. Raycon is offering 15% off all their products for our listeners. And here's what you got to do to get it. That's right. All you got to do is go to buyraycon.com slash coffee talk. And that's it. You'll get 15% off your entire Raycon order. So feel free to grab a pair and a spare. Very good. That's 15% off at buyraycon.com slash coffee talk. That's buyraycon.com slash coffee talk. Thank you so much, Raycon. We love you and hope to see you soon. And hope to hear you soon. <laughs> Back to the episode. Do you follow the stock market? Are you in the stocks? I don't follow it. No? That's the problem with playing with stocks and stuff. It's like, I heard about it all week. AMC, GameStop. We gotta, we gotta buy it, blah blah blah, amongst all our friends. Yeah, it makes you feel like you're fucking, you're missing yeah. out. And then it's today, the worst feeling. I got to the gym and everybody was like, "It crashed," and I was like, "Well, Ugh. it didn't." Well, you have to be smart and pull out at the at the right moment. Like me, I wouldn't, I don't, I wouldn't let it like sit in there. That's what she I, said. I, I let it get yeah, up to a point where I'm comfortable. And that's I what she said. Out. And then when it turns into Tesla, you like, you literally want to jump off a cliff. Cause you sold all your Tesla stock, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, I, Dave, well, Davis thing is so fucking crazy. I can. If he would have kept that. that in, he'd be fucking fourteen million dollars. Yeah, that's a fucking yeah. Insane. It's, a, it's it's a tough one. I I remember at the time being like, yeah, you, you don't know if Tesla's gonna make it. Like, I mean, I'm being it, honest. Yeah. yeah, I'm being honest. Being I like, mean, yeah, I mean, course. the car's cool, but it's I still overpriced don't... for the stock for what it is. Yeah, it's all hype. Yeah. But I don't know why the stock is so high. It's not just because of the cars, right? It's because of all the technology, right? Yeah, it's the technology, the hype. They've got more than just cars. And he's trying to build a, a tunnel, right? Underneath LA. Yeah. Oh, is boring, he? Boring company, but that's kind of separate. Is that separate? Um, but yeah, man. The, That'd be sick. Stocks are so interesting. Like, That's one thing I feel like I wish I learned at a young age. Uh-huh. Like, I feel like that's something they should teach you in school. Um, I don't yeah, think I don't think they should teach you that in school because it's not like <laughs> it's not like paying your taxes. <laughs> taxes is like something on the side how you like where you can make money. This podcast you know? that's a it's like a running theme on this podcast is you guys griping about <laughs> what we wish we learned. People when we were not teaching you the right stuff in school. <laughs> you know, Heath, I'm the opposite. I wish I never fucking heard about stocks because like I think about it all the time. I, it's crazy how much I think about it when I don't know anything right, about right. stocks. I don't know. W what fucking hedge funds are i don't know what fucking i literally don't know how any of it works but i sit there and i'm just like i can't believe i'm trying to make a list i could be making millions about. of dollars right I don't now know what. But, but i don't know any of this somebody explain it to me i'd be like i'd grab Heath by the neck and be like what do i put my money in he's just like you just gotta figure it out and i'm like fuck i was like i just want someone to tell me what to do zane you so also I didn't know how old you were last week yeah. Remember when I was sitting you didn't you? know how old he was this morning <laughs> I know. Zane, how old are you? On David's couch. I'm 28. <laughs> 20 heavy. 28. I'm 28. He tried to use a word the other day. We were filming with Joe. Uh -huh. <laughs> we like showed up. It was Joe's birthday, so we showed up for like a, sa a scavenger hunt. And Zane was one stop where he was going to give us a clue. So Zane was really nice. He was like filming with us, whatever, on like a Sunday morning. And then he threw out this word, "matician." <laughs> matician. <laughs> yeah. And we were like, "What was the context?" He was like, "You know, I, I want to be meticious about this." Meticious? Yeah, like, and I think he was trying to say meticulous. Jason, I wish you never meticulous. said the beginning. I wish you never said the beginning because I feel like Mariah would have been like, "What's meticulous?" Because <laughs> I, 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 I think he was trying to say meticulous. Um, Maybe malicious. Or meticulous. Malicious. I think he was trying to. Uh, anyways, he, what people don't understand is that like I come, up with, I come up with I come up We're with this creative. word yeah. and and like and then people like Jason believe it and then they run with it and I'm just like <laughs> Baby, yeah, I got you, it. You got to be confident with it. It's true. If you you know it's the way you say it. Right. We might not be the brightest bulb in the shed, but we're creative. Baby, we are the. We're funny. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We are talented. Yeah. We are meticulous. We are meticulous. <laughs> we, we are smart. We are kind, and we are important. We are good. <laughs> yep. Do you guys do that? Do you do daily affirmations ever? What no. the fuck is that? Dude? You know, you know, what, I, you know what I started doing, doing before the podcast? I'll go into the bathroom and I'll look at the uh, myself in the mirror. Yeah. And I'll tell myself, like, this is going to be a good episode. This is going to be fun. You're going to do great. We're all going to have fun. This is going to be a good time. Let's go kill this. Do you Just do like that? Boogie Nights. Yeah. Is that what they do in yeah, Boogie Yeah, and then he takes his cock out. <laughs> I do that, too. Well, I, I do it right before peeing. <laughs> and he takes his cock out, and he goes, yeah, that's right. All right. <laughs> you never seen that? No. Uh, I do the complete but opposite. It, it's when uh, I look Mark Wahlberg, right? Mark Wahlberg, before he goes out to what perform. What would the opposite right. be? <sighs> Here we go. Let's get Here this over. Here we go. <laughs> I, I have so much anxiety <laughs> performing. Oh, it's the worst. Sexually? <laughs> yeah, I mean that. I mean that doesn't happen for me, but um, no. But like in any kind of stand up or even just filming with you guys or like 
vlogging, oh, so much anxiety that goes into it before you're like, it's it's this weird thing where you're like, do you feel like you're funny or not on camera? Uh, no, I don't feel like I'm funny ever at all. And, really? And, 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 and I feel like that's the thing is like, I, I feel like I'm like, I lost it. I'm like, I don't know if I can do this ever again. Like I, I have no, I have no memory or no trust in myself that I will be funny again. I it's, feel like I that's completely so lost it this comedian. year too. I think I, lost I know. It too. I wasn't a good comedian though. I wasn't, I wasn't like crushing and like headlining. You Who know? do you look up to as a comedian? I look up to like people like Steve Carell. Melissa McCarthy, I think, is so good. the funniest. Yep. I love Howard Stern and Dave Chappelle. And there's a comedian named Norm MacDonald that I am infatuated with. I used to work for him. Um, and just his sense of humor is just so insanely good and in everything he does. So I listen to him on podcasts a lot when I go to sleep. I listen to okay. Joe Rogan a lot. Did you listen to Bob listen Hope? To <laughs> <laughs> Bob Hope, by the time I saw him, was like a pretty old man. But he would be on TV. And he would tell jokes. He's he's a classic comedian, and he's like very respected because he um he didn't write any of his jokes. Really? Mm. And 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 Other the jokes didn't? weren't actually good, but his delivery. So if you watch Bob Hope, he's making you laugh, but none of the jokes are good. Like they're all bombs. They're all stinkers. In He'll the most win. respectful way. Why was he so iconic? There's an airport. Right. There's he he owns his houses. The, the Bob Hope there's, house in yeah, Toluca. Yeah, there's like four well, houses on his property. Like maybe crazy... he has money. That's there were, yeah, there were but old money. If he said he wasn't even... There were three TV stations and like three movie studios. And he was one of the guys that oh, was... Oh, okay. I wish we were talented. <laughs> <laughs> I wish we had something. I wish somebody would give me the fucking chops that I need to fucking... Like, give me the jokes. Just repeat it. Be nice. <laughs> I always do that. I'll look at like just big artists and I'll like I'll, for a second I'm just like, damn. Cause I'd be like, I could sing to like, to you guys. I could just sing to people or like dance really good or <gasps> act really good. He pointed at you. Zane pointed at me when he said that. <laughs> but you're, Dancer, in a, you're, actor. You're, you're in a neat position where you, you have an, a great audience and a pretty really big audience and you can just get better with your audience. It's not like it was like, you can go out and train for six months on something and, and then put I will it say, I feel like we're a jack of all trades. Yeah, I mean, we're all just kind of... Zane doesn't know what that means. I literally don't know what that I've never heard of Jack of all trades in my Jack life. of all trades, master of none. Like, you're, like, good at a lot of... Like, just, like, good at a lot of things, but you're not, like, a fucking expert at one that you can, like, <laughs> yeah. excel okay. at. Okay. That is right. me. Right. That yeah. is me. I, call me Jack. <laughs> <laughs> Jack. I am the master of none. Jack Kajazi. I mean, look, we're all, we're, all, we're all YouTubers. We're all just people that put ourselves out there, and we're personalities, right. and that's it. I want to be a Shawn Mendes! <laughs> Yeah, that, Sean Mendes. that's tough. I want to be a Sean Mendes. That's tough. I mean, yeah, I would like that too. I want to be an good. Olivia Rodrigo. I feel like this break is good for everybody, though. I yeah. feel like you guys are finding because you're forced to find other things to branch out into. Everyone has their little businesses now, and it's really like the only it's thing cool. I felt it's was like golf. growth. <laughs> yeah, it's something. I'm gonna I'm gonna go pro at golf. Oh, but I but I do miss it. all of us just being together, coming up with different like situations and jokes right. to like go I know. film. Like, I think that, that's why I, we feel like we're losing it because we're not constantly being tested yeah. with like yeah. our like how our wittiness and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like, like we I don't have that, that back and forth anymore. It's kind of just like like a lot of time I wake up and I like don't do anything and like t Matt will be like go read a book and I'm like I don't read like I, I just like <laughs> yeah, it's hard for me to it's hard for me to come up with something Becky, that makes me excited. <laughs> I don't know. There, there's not much right now, especially during these times. So it's it's hard to come up with something. So I just I want to get back into how it used to be, just so I feel like I'm doing something again. Mm -hmm. Maybe maybe you would read Jason's new book that he's writing. Ooh. Ooh, nice segue. I sent it to the publisher in October, and they didn't say anything. They were like, "We did it by October 15th," and I was like, "Okay, okay." That's like a brand deal. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and then I didn't they hear from, it a month in I, advance. I, I, I didn't hear it from them for like three months, and then they they wrote back last week, and they were like, "We love it. It's done." And I was like, "Whoa, <gasps> that's not good." You know how what I mean? You, wait, how do you even hold on? You have a book. Yeah, you wrote a book. Yeah, somebody offered me a book deal, so I was like, "Okay, yeah." Is cool. it an autobiography? Yeah, it's it's autobiographical. There's it's, some nursery rhymes. It's it's called um, "I Fucked Up So You Don't Have To." So okay. it's it's supposed oh, to be like all my like mistakes. That. Great. Yeah, is it like a self help inspirational type? Kind of. It's just funny stories, basically, cool. and none of them. They kind of all go together. There's a lot How about you, you guys to start in there. Everything that's happened in your life since the mm -hmm. start. How I met David. I love like self help books, like stuff like. Yeah, I like that too. Learning about bettering yourself 
It's just, or I'm like gonna, hearing other write, people's stories, yeah. like not even like them, like specifically trying to help you. Just hearing other people's like journeys kind of inspires you. Like, that, right? Really. Yeah, it That's really, cool. it really does. Um, are are you a fir- like? I don't mean to pry and question, but like, are you a firm believer in that? Like, like I fucked up, so you don't have to. Are you like? Yeah, yeah. I really, are, are, I really am. Like, if I feel like when I hear people's mistakes, I'm like, oh yeah, don't do that. Okay. You know, and I feel like I made a lot of mistakes. That I wish I hadn't. So I'm like trying. To, and what's nice is the the ending is is you know still uplifting. It's still like okay, I made it, but I took like a really long way to go. Do you feel like those mistakes made you who you are though? Hundred percent. Right. Yeah, I feel like that, and like it's it could be good. I hope it's good. It's really cool. Congratulations. Yeah. Do you know when it's, it's going to release? Maybe like the summer. But when did I, you start writing this? Uh, just last year. It was it was great. I was home and nothing to do. How do you? begin you just sit there like pencil Page paper one. or like typing it's so hard There's so many questions i would be spongebob even... just sitting there just like the i can't the. even do a fucking like instagram story like how are you oh ain't even just... an instagram caption i know you just you just you know what you have to do is yeah you have to just accept that your writing style is maybe kind of shitty and then you're right. maybe not the best writer yeah and that's you just accept that and you're like and as soon as i did that i was like okay i went out with david to vlog Period. And that's you okay. Know, that's literally my he, book. He picked Hi, me up at name. 9 p.m. Are you going to do an audio version? That yeah, I want to have all you guys read chapters. That would Ooh, be sick. That would be yeah, fun. Yeah, 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 yeah. I yeah. like that. I think that would be fun. That's really Like, it would be cool. funny what if Jeff was in the booth and he's like, what the fuck is this shit? <laughs> oh, like, can I misspell, like, the big words? Or yeah, sure. The big words? You can oh. mispronounce <laughs> them. <laughs> Miss- <laughs> <say> the big <laughs> words. Say to write it. You can misspell them. That's really cool, though. Yeah. That's dope. That's crazy. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see if anyone reads it. I have no idea. But it's fun. It's fun to do really anything fun. like that. But what what is challenging as a YouTuber is like you want to do more than just make make YouTube but be videos. Taken seriously, like yeah, yeah. So it's like it is hard to like, get those opportunities. So like hopefully mm-hmm. like, maybe this will be good. Or right. um, so I really like doing the roast last year. Um, Dude, that roast was amazing. That was fun. It was so fun. Stuff oh my like gosh, that. Brilliant. That was the best thing to ever happen to us. Uh, we all had so much fun. <laughs> oh, yeah, being there. We would that not stop great. talking so, about we it. We worked on it for like three months. We so needed. Cool. We needed a good like gut laugh, and it's yeah. fun. like we've never like like made fun of each other like that in yeah. a setting like that. So it was just like. And I'm surprised it, too. We're the perfect group to do it too. Yeah. Right. Yeah. It's, it's all shit people wanted to say, but never had the balls. To. <laughs> it was fun. I like doing it with just us. Yeah. Like that was really fun because then it. It felt very family-ish. Yeah. yeah. When you watch the roast on TV, like people don't know each other. Like it's literally like Nikki Glazer going after somebody that she's never met. Yeah. So I made it made it fun fun to be like, oh, we know all these guys love each other, you know. Yeah. So that was really cool. Mm-hmm. So um, funny. But yeah, and then we're gonna do another one in February. Cool. I think. Or no, no, not February, March, March. That's can, so fun. Can we let's, be in it? Yeah, you can be in it. Let's let's uh, keep. I'm like Jason. Keep thinking of ideas like that so we can keep coming together and. Well, I like the it. talent show idea a lot. That's great. The talent yeah, show's really that, funny. That's really good. That's I little... I would go into like a month of sessions to get something done just for that one. What's show. What's cool about doing the roast now is when somebody when you guys do it next time, like you'll do it for the first time, you'll be like. You'll be like, oh shit! Like I need to work on this. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. Whereas before we were like, we were writing everyone's jokes and being like, here, Susie, say this and whatever. Yeah. But now would, people will be, will understand what it is. And I would take it seriously too. Like I'm I'm waiting for something where like I need to spend a lot of time on. And so if, when that shit happens, I'm gonna I feel like I'm gonna like from morning to night I'm gonna get up in front of the mirror and be like, <laughs> okay, <laughs> let's, do let's do this. Big night ahead of us in five weeks. Yeah, every day. It was fun. And Todd crushed it. I remember I remember yeah, seeing Todd really up well. there being like, holy shit everybody did really well <laughs> yeah, it just seemed like everybody was having a good time so yeah i thought it was pretty cool and vardon he was great did you see vardon's new youtube video no he had doesn't he have like a new series out fucking so good what's it called really? again okay vardon has this new series turning myself into a navy seal <laughs> <laughs> hold oh on wait that's like God. the best fucking idea it's basically for, like for vardon. vardon antonian he wants to become a navy seal he's gonna do the navy seal workout and the best part of it is that a 15-year-old kid in Florida edits the video. What? And it's really well edited, but it's from 
the perspective of like a 15 year old <laughs> so oh my like gosh, a lot of the moments so that are funny. played he plays for drama and it's yeah. really well edited but it's just like so okay like there's one part that's so funny i wish we could show it but he'll be like he'll be like so i had to go out and had to run my my second 10 mile of the day and i thought about the voices in my head of all the people who support me and then so it's vard on running and then there's just like this stagnant little like thumbnail oh circle of Susie, and, it, and you just hear Susie's voice you can do it vard Oh my god. And then and then it's like a little a little picture of I got And I'm not this. making fun of it. I called him. I no, said, no, Vardon, this yeah. is the so best good. fucking video. David called him. Jeff called him. We were like, Vardon, you gotta do this series. This series is so good. Then there's like a little circle of the dad, and the dad is like, You can do it. I know you can. Oh you know, my he's like, God. Come on, Vardon. That's, that's, that's great. Really like, it's really that's sweet great. and heartfelt. But again, it's Just two, knowing Vardon, it's two 15 year olds so like cooking up a series. It's that's so good. Sick. And then they'll go, they'll go, so I had to go out and do 40 push-ups. And then it's just like this really long shot. And he'll, he'll just go, one. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I mean, honestly, hearing that inspires me to like want to start posting it again. Because like. You should, Zane. Like, you're so you funny. You like, 15-year-old I, and, and you know, I will. I don't understand. Like, I'm baffled. It's, dude, I'm like, right, like this year has been like the worst year for me mentally. Like, I just fucking, I feel like. What do you need to get? I, like, I understand. And my, I'm sensitive my, to that. My brain, t like, right now is telling me that I suck. It's like, Zane, you are not funny. You suck. Why'd you even start? Like, these are the things I'm that are sensitive in my to head that. right now. So it's like it's hard for me to even pick up a camera. What do we need to do record. to get you in the right mental space? What would it take? Mike Shepard talked to me yesterday about it. He what did he say? He was saying that Zane, you're saying that there's no ideas anymore for videos, but there's literally hundreds and thousands of new ideas. You just don't want to look for those new ideas. You don't want to do them. Right. Like you, you, you like you know, sitting on that couch is easier for you than. Picking up that camera and just trying to film something. Like you see Todd, you see everyone trying to film something, but like you, f you, you're like letting yourself just be this person where you got to sit on this couch, right? And that's gonna be who you are. I've only posted it, three it videos this month. Hold on, three videos? That's really good. Yeah, I can't remember. Sounds the last good time to me. That's, that good, sounds that's good once a week. Me. You're on a hot streak, <laughs> <laughs> but Jason. That's a um, fucking incredible. I'll no. say like I, I'm I'm in the same boat as Zane. Like I I'm a perfectionist like he is. Right. And I just like. I have that same, you know, mental feeling. Uh, and I got to the point where I was like, you know what? Fuck it. I'm going to do things I enjoy. I'm right. going to post stuff. Like, I'm just going to go do it. And like I did. And it fucking tanked. <laughs> and <I was> just, <laughs> <laughs> we missed nope. miss the old That's video. not true. Jason, that's not, you know, that's not even the problem. I can, I can post... I can post videos, just videos every week and right. get like, it'll do really well in views. That's like, that's not it. I just like, I watch my videos. Like you're I'll, not proud of it. I'm just not proud of it. Right. So like putting something like that out, I feel like in my head, everyone is watching this and just like Zane, boo, like this is fucking awful. Like this is just what goes on in my head. So I'm just like, right. oh my God, if I don't come up with something really good, then I can't post But you it. know, that's impossible, right? I mean, like I, it's virtually impossible to come up with. Something uh, better and better every time. I know. Uh, something better and better and every it, every week. It doesn't help me. What like I like? Th there's a like. You there's don't a, have a staff. You don't have writers. I mean, yeah. like you're a YouTuber. You're a yeah. YouTuber, and the the disadvantages, the advantages of being a YouTuber is like we can do whatever we want and put content on every day, and people can watch it or not. But like, that's the advantage of it. Is like you're you're just being yourself, and like, hey guys, this is me. This is my life, and it doesn't have to be fucking you know gangs in new york and it's also it's, it's also an interesting thing like when when you start to better your stuff like people right. people will watch you from the beginning like you're 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 not in the best living situation you're kind of like a fuck up you're doing these things and everybody's rooting for you I like love, make that money that. do that thing like blow up i hope you, you deserve so much more like why aren't you bigger blah 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 and then you start doing more you start getting better you start you know upping your production right you you up your production you get a better camera you start like okay wow i'm i'm really doing this thing like i'm making more money like i want to i want to better myself as i keep leveling up yeah and then you start like doing what everybody hoped you would do like you're leveling up like oh my god and then once you start getting better they're like no nah, this isn't the same feel we liked you better when you were fucking poor <laughs> we liked you better when you sucked and it's I, just like you you get to that point and you're like i'm doing like more that, and more and more I, and then it's discouraging yeah, yeah. of course like yeah. as a human being like people are like don't let the comments get to you they do like that's just the bottom yeah, line they do. you know what yeah. i mean and it discourages you and you're like okay well then what's the point 
like, you know, I, because I hired, you're doing like, you're doing something that you love to do because you actually like doing videos. You're like, cool, I want to do fishing or whatever. Like, and you really you're so proud of the video. You're so happy with the video. You're so happy with your editor, and, <laughs> and <laughs> it doesn't perform, and people are saying negative things about it, and, and like you're just like, well, I'm your I'm videos doing used to be like so much better. Do. I was like. I used to fucking sit on a balcony and chain smoke <laughs> cigarettes with Zane and just yeah. do nothing. It's discouraging. Yeah. It's, it's funny. It's 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 interesting, but maybe that's what people but, want. But, but like, I think I think people liked us back then because we did. We actually didn't care. You're free spirited. We, yeah, just we like, would, let's just I, film. I, you were having fun. Out, we'd yeah. pull out our phones and we would just talk like the phone wasn't even there. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Now it you was overthink like, everything. We were. It was like we didn't even like care about anything else that other than what me and you were talking about. But now. Now, mm -hmm. that's all we think about is the camera and making sh and thinking about post production. How is this video going to look yeah. after it's edited? That's all you I think about. Everything, and then right. even if you have an idea, yeah. you're like, "Well, is someone going to get upset about this? Well, is this going to happen? Is this going to happen? I don't know if I could do that." Like you like, said I, back then, right? Yeah. Like I, I want to post like fishing videos, and I'm like worried about the fish community. Like, <laughs> <laughs> the hooks hurt their lips, and you're like, "Well, you know what? Yeah. Fucking Pete, you eat fish every fucking day." <laughs> Yeah, and it's like you know what? Like people are gonna get pissed about whatever. So I know, people... but I, th I think as influencers and as creators, we have to be strong to just like get past. It. And I know I, I sound yeah. it's so hypocritical because I complain too. But like we just have to like literally just look past that shit and not get. Dude, we gotta have a Logan Paul mentality. He's also changed a lot though. I feel like he yeah. has grown and so much too. in the last few years and yeah. really found himself in his. He, good for you. He's been yeah. so nice to me. I, yeah. I called him to do like two character bits and he did them both. And I was, I was like, couldn't believe it. I was oh, so, that's nice. It was so nice. I called right. him. I was like, I'm going to yeah, come we, by as a character today. And he was like, yeah, come on over. I was like, wow. We, we dropped him off some coffee. And you did. Super excited. Like, wow, I'm proud of you guys. Like, that's amazing. You guys are like stepping out and doing like yeah. big stuff. Like, that's really cool. And I was like, damn, thanks. Yeah, man. he's he's great. He definitely like, he's so, he's so, so supportive. Yeah. 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 Which is really nice to see. Maybe we got to get into boxing. If that's what excites you, then you should go do it for sure. I just think it's fun for all of it's us. It's like for me, I used to get really excited about like making movies and then I did it and they failed and it was so much work and such a bomb. I was like, oh, cool. I'm done. What was the coolest movie you were in? The coolest movie I was in? Or the most exciting to you? Hold on. I mean, the ones I made were the most fun. Whether yeah. they're good or not is like a different question. There's that movie that we saw you in one. Remember, there was like a, some clip that you're you were in like it was a Will Smith movie. It was like some movie about like the president and like the security or some shit. Oh, I was in House. You oh, were that was in just, House. Oh, that was House. I think it was a clip from House. Yeah. Where oh, you, that's like, cool. You open the van. Yeah. That's oh, that house. was House. That oh, I thought sick. it was like some like. Oh, that is Gerard so Butler sick. Movie. It was fine. I used to religiously watch House. You did. I had a friend who was a writer there, and he gave me like a job. He gave me three lines or whatever. Maybe it was one line. Who knows? Wow. It's like six hundred dollars. It was fun. That yeah. was back when I like had no job or anything. So I was like, yeah, I'll do whatever. That's pretty cool. That, that is fun. so cool. Like I wish if I wasn't doing this, I went to trade school. Uh -huh. What's that? And where you learn like a trade. Like there's there's like dying like being a plumber, an electrician, a mechanic, something like that. Mm hmm Like I feel this there's something so cool about it. Yeah. Nowadays, like my dad grew up like you fix your own fucking car, you change your oil. I think my that's dad, why my, my brothers dad are fixes the way the they AC. are. He'll fix the plumbing. He'll renovate the bathroom. He'll mm -hmm. fucking do. It's crazy that everything. your dad just can fix like whatever's wrong in the house. It's I not know. like it's, there's not not a point where he looks at something. And he's like, I need to call someone to fix this. He just it's everything. He just figures it <laughs> out. Yeah, that's out. my that's dad too. Like nuts. never called. Like last right. resort is calling somebody. You, you just figure and it out I with I no wish, internet. They did it without any internet. I wish <laughs> when I was younger, I paid more fucking attention. Like right. now being out of the house, like those were so many valuable lessons. I wish I fucking learned. Mm -hmm. You're good. You have it in you. I, I have some stuff like as I started getting older and I was like, okay, I, I could change my own oil by myself. I can like. He fixed my sink the other day. And we have, we have, I can like do like a little bit of like electrician stuff, like rewiring mm -hmm. things, but not to the extent that my dad can like, like problem solving wise. <laughs> and like, I just like, I wish I like learned a little bit more does your does your dad like look at youtube videos at all or he, he just knows he just, just knows, knows. That's, just like life experience that's crazy you just have to go in there you have but to get now, electrocuted how old is your dad? you know how many times he got electrocuted 61 i've seen my dad he's get electrocuted so many he's times he's got time a fucking psychopath you. he counted <laughs> no he's 61 oh. <laughs> <laughs> you answered 61 as soon as someone asked how many uh, times was he electrocuted no but that's 61 like just like sitting there i'm just like i'm with a little fucking flashlight holding like a screwdriver or something and like he'll just be sitting in the wall and he'll just be like because he's the type of guy, he won't cut the fucking power off to do something he just right. like if shit happens like he just be Aah! 
Jesus fucking Christ. And I'm a fucking kid, just like, maybe that scared me, and I'm like, I don't want to touch this stuff. But he'll just like, boom, uh, and then hit his back. <laughs> you go right after. Wait, 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 wait. And then what happens? Is he and out? Then he and then it. Fuck it. All right, cool. Let's try it again. Well, let's he not just touch gets, that one he again. He kind of gets up, shakes it off. I've ne- Heath, I've never seen anyone be electrocuted before. Yeah. So take us through it. It's it, like just sitting there trying to like work on shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But just and the fact what? that like he'll go into it knowing like it's a good possibility. I couldn't like ah. if you gave me a 50-50 shot, like if I connected this one to this one or this one to this one, and like I could get electrocuted, I wouldn't fucking do it. I wouldn't. I would call somebody oh five hundred bucks, yeah. <laughs> get here in twenty minutes. You ever do jumper cables and you're like, is it negative first or positive Dude, first? Oh my god. <laughs> like, oh my god. Oh my god. Oh I think it's so How, funny. What is it? When pe- no, no. When people pe- like, right? somebody get, like, tell me, please. If you flipped it, it, do you just get electrocuted or is it like I you think have it to do something? Blow up. <laughs> did the if he did the opposite? They've you- been guessing this whole time. <laughs> no, no. But like, if he did the actually did the opposite, would like I think so? You get electrocuted? I don't know. I know you got to go positive, positive, negative, negative. Right. I I always would just do like both on one battery, both on the other battery. Doesn't fucking matter. It's not gonna like. Oh, is that what? Is that right? Right. Because I was always told if you do it wrong, you're gonna fucking no. get a shock. Oh, that's at, so funny. At some point, they're gonna have a charger like an iPhone to like just. But then like put it in the fucking. Not too long ago, I was like talking to my dad, that. and I always thought it was like red to red, black to black, red to red, black to black. Um, and then he he was like, oh no, take the black off the one you're gonna jump. Put it on the metal. You're gonna ground it. Right, you like, have to ground it. Right. I'm like, I'm fucking grounded. Yeah. I just, I can't start to ground. Like, it was. I, I have no idea. Do your dad getting electrocuted one more time? <laughs> and, then just, and then just like, and then what? And, and then just would like hit. And then my mom. Would he say anything? No. Well, he like, was just Fuck. electrocuted. <laughs> like Jason. And it was. It was your mom. Mark. My mom getting mad. Like you fucking. What the <laughs> And like just screaming, <laughs> and then he's and fine. Then she would get more pissed than he would, and then he'd Dude, get up and he'd try it again. So funny. I mean, that's why I don't mess around with stuff because I don't want to go. But like, <laughs> but that's shit. Like people don't do anymore. Right. Most people just hire somebody to come fix something. But oh, you know, yeah. like that's why Task I think, Rabbit's I think, the best. Yeah, I think I think like trade school is so interesting for that. Like keeping those like I'll, I'll call it an art. Those arts alive. Yeah. People doing that shit. I think it's cool. Yeah, it's fun. You could keep learning stuff. Your dad's also got a lot of time on you. Anything else you want to talk about while you're on? Um, Release. Anything you want to say on David's podcast, the Views podcast with you guys that, that you, you couldn't that say? That I can't really? say here. Or that yeah. he cuts. Or you that you can say here, but you couldn't say on. Right. Um, say, what's up, Scott? Sire? Yeah, there you go. Can't say oh. that on Views. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. We'll probably be cut. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit, Scotty. That's funny. They're trying to silence us, man. <laughs> Justice for Scott. Yeah, we had to cut it down to an hour when he was on. We just, we just had to cut everything out. <laughs> Scott. <laughs> Scott's the best. We filmed for 10 hours. <laughs> <laughs> and we had to cut it down to an he hour. You only got an hour out of him. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah, I'd a, say yeah. that's pretty good. It felt really bad, but it Crazy. had to be done. He was doing well. <laughs> <laughs> what's, what's next for you? Um, Other than the book and... Doing, like, uh, building a set. For my vlogs, like a set like this, yeah. same set guy, yeah. Sit down stuff. Oh, cool. nice. yeah, yeah. doing that. Our set guy. Yep. Nice. Same guy. That's it. I don't know. Stand okay. up. I'm. Be, I'll be doing stand up in uh, March in Utah. Wow. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. Can we come? Sure. I don't know. We'll see how that is. I did a stand up show in July, and um, there were there were kids. They were all masked out of college, and it was really really tough. It was tough to do stand up. Like when I got there, I was like, I understood why no one's doing stand up. Did you bomb? Because ah, uh, yeah. What's it like? Like if uh, you like say something like you know is funny, but nobody laughs. It's just like there's no energy in the room. Okay, weird. So the, this situation was interesting because the kids there was their first week of school and they were all freshmen, and they were just all really scared and just like it was just like not a good vibe. They weren't scared, but they were just like, what's going on? You know when you get to mm-hmm. school and you like don't know anybody? Right. It was literally like their first day, and I was the guest. <laughs> and uh, it ended up fine, but I certainly like the first like 10 minutes were like rocky as hell. And um, so, yeah, that, it's, I don't know. I'll be curious to, to do stand-up. Would you say see. that's the worst feeling in the world? Bombing? Yeah. No, no, no. Because to you... me, I, in my head, that would be the worst feeling. Like getting up, like you're the funny man. 
people are sitting there just like, make me laugh. No, it's not bad. Like you get used to it. Like you're. <laughs> Like you really do. Like you just learn that that that's part of it. Because you for so many years you just bomb. Um, you'll go to like open mics and stuff, or just play sh rooms like small right. rooms and not a lot of people. And you're just used to people not laughing, and it just have to you just have to like keep going and try to find the funny parts and the jokes. Right. And if the jokes aren't getting laughs, they get cut. It is crazy seeing like a lot of big like obviously they're not aired. You don't see on Netflix, but there's a lot of big comedians that go out and do a show and it's completely bombs. But we don't hear about it because they don't air it. Yeah. But it's like Local people talk things, about it. Like yeah. I'll, I'll see people talk about it. I'm just like, that's crazy. I've never seen like a show where like it completely mm -hmm. bombed and everyone's just like, what the fuck was that? Like, it's there's, crazy. There's a comedian that I love who I know is like so funny and, and um and I think he's going to be like really huge. And um, my friend Joe saw him in town. And every time I bring him up, he's like, we saw him. He wasn't good. And I was like, well, Oof. he was probably like just working out material. Right. You know, you probably yeah. just saw him on a night where mm -hmm. he was maybe trying some stuff. Have you ever been heckled? Oh, yeah. Yeah? All the time. When what David comes like? to my shows. All right, Jay. Well, thank you so much for coming on. We Guys, really appreciate so that. That was so much fun. Yeah, it was so it was much fun. Honor. Congrats. We'll definitely have you back. All right. Great. Make sure to be on the lookout for his book that's coming out yep. uh, relatively soon. Yeah, sometime this year. I cool. fucked up so you don't have to. Yeah. By Jason Nash. Yeah. Love that. Very good. I love that title. Thanks, guys. I resonate a lot with that title. So. Yeah, anything you want to say? Close it out? You want to promote? You. Yeah. No. You want to promote anything? anything? No, no. Just check, check out my at videos. Jason Nash. Um, at Jason Nash. At Jason Nash. YouTube, you get, the podcast. Yeah, views. go check out Views, the podcast. Go check out my YouTube videos. That's basically it. FML movie on Amazon <laughs> yep. if you want to watch. <laughs> FML starring Big Nick, Eliza Koshy, <laughs> David Dobrik. Brandon hey, Calveo. and Zane and Heath, we were in the Zane end of that Heath. movie. We were, we Zane were and the, Heath are in the end of the movie. Rednecks, is that what it was? Alex Ernst, yes. Oh my God, and the Denny House was in it too. Yeah. Beautiful. I can't mm -hmm. believe you captured that moment in a movie. Yeah, Big Nick was a good you actor, You could rent man. it for 50 he was. bucks. He is a good actor. <laughs> he is. He was sorry. great in that scene. Yeah. Huh? I said you could rent it for 50 bucks. <laughs> <laughs> Jason's trying to make his money back. <laughs> VOD available, $109. <laughs> Uh, we love you guys Thank you so much for watching You can always get Cremota coffee At Cremota.com We've got house Tahitian vanilla Cinnamon french toast We've got the bag House blend um, And we got some new stuff Coming out So get ready for that And yeah Thank you so much Thank you We love you, you. Uh, Audio every single Monday Spotify Apple Blah 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 And you can watch The YouTube video Every single Tuesday On YouTube.com Slash Zayna Heath uh, Yeah And that's it We but love y'all Peace and blessings Bye, bye.